Oh, hey guys. So, did things a little bit differently. I delivered in Vesper, Wisconsin, right? Uh, thought I had a reload. Thought. I even scheduled early, right? Scheduled it. Called about a Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, I was guilt in their load. They called me like Thursday morning saying it canceled. Shipper didn't have the product. I was like, back. Because uh, it was the, at the time the best back call I could find. I mean, it was early, but based on the previous week, it paid more than everything else. Uh, so I was like, all right, fuck it. I did something I normally don't do. I should have looked right away for a reload, but I said, fuck it. I just hope for the best, because the reload's on Thursday for picking a Friday. It's not good. W would not be good at all. They were like 25, 2700. Like for example, I was even looking, I even looked out 200 miles, 300 miles. Uh, a load that was going from Belvedere to Corbin, Utah, you know, Miracle, or is it Lineage or Miracle? I don't know, Belvedere, you know, the cold storage there. The Cormoran, the, the Walmart DC. A couple weeks ago, I was paying like 34, 35. I was now paying like 20 fucking 600. Stop fucking taking these goddamn loads. What are you guys doing? Stop it. Um. So, I was like, fuck it. We'll just deliver Friday. Look again on Friday. Hopefully, I had some better luck and, you know, maybe some higher pay. No, I almost got fucked. I was on the phone booking a list of TKL that was garbage. It was like two, uh, two and a half hours deadhead because there was nothing on the load board. Uh, it was twenty-seven hundred dollars going to uh, Clearfield, Utah, or Layton, something like that. I was, I was on the phone, literally booking a load. Uh, my Giltner, my load called and said, "Hey, do you still want it?" And I said, "Yeah." And it's like a couple extra hundred dollars. I mean, I didn't tell him that, but I mean. My head went, fuck yeah, it's extra money, even fuck, it's pennies, but TQL, fuck them, what, never that shit, $2,700, what the fuck's wrong with you guys? It was under $2 a mile, it was like $1.80, like, it was fucking stupid. That was a, not even the deadhead included. Now, guilt and load wasn't much better, but, like I said, it was a couple hundred dollars, a couple hundred dollars, and I was hoping that I could just find a short little day hop. From either Salt Lake or wherever I was going, just get myself to Boise, kind of make up between the two, right? Because, like I said, no. Uh, the other previous weeks, I could have taken a 33, 34, straight to Salt Lake, sometimes even Boise, so I was trying to make up for that, right? So, alright, so Deadhead, oh, Deadhead has 110 miles. I was in Vesper, Wisconsin, right? Uh, I was picking up at Fond du Lac, uh, Wisconsin, at a, milk, a place called Milk, milk Specialties. I was going to Idaho Falls, uh, picked up, picked up Friday, delivered it was Monday. Uh, my cut was 2581, loaded miles was 1530, total miles 1640. My rate per mile on this load was not great. It was, uh, was not great. It was $1.57. Uh, but I made up, I did make up some of it a little bit. Uh, technically it was a dry load, but I had spent, been rained off for three straight days. It was 22,000 pounds. It was powdered uh, instant calciumite going to a place called Melaleuca. Uh, I ran at 65 degrees for humidity, pretty much. Just keep moisture out of the, out of the trailer. Didn't have to do that. It was a small cost for peace of mind, you know, prevent myself getting the claim. Both milk specialties and Melaleuca. Milk specialties is a small place. Uh, there's two buildings, by the way. There, one's a tanker building, and then one's a, a storage facility. The storage facility one, generally where probably you'll be mostly going if you're not tanker based, has overnight parking. It's small, so they also have drop trailers there. So you may need some luck. Melaleuca. When I got there, it's okay. So the, the building by itself has no business on it at all on Google Maps. So like it's just an address you put in. You just go there. Uh, they have a dirt, a gated dirt lot in the back. In the back. When I showed there, it was Sunday, Sunday like one or two o'clock in the afternoon. Nobody was there, but the gate was open. I said, I figured they'd leave it open anyways. I slept there. My appointment was 7:30 on Monday. I slept there. Nobody complained. They said, Yeah, you were fine. So I was like, Cool. So they have overnight parking. Don't ruin it. Uh, and while I was getting unloaded, I called about a load. Uh, cause I was, I was out of that place in like 40 minutes by the way, it was fucking quick. Uh, called about a load, that was 18 miles away. 
uh, and Rigby, Idaho, that was going to Caldwell, Idaho. Uh, so the loaded miles was, was 300, total miles 318, right? I called and asked for 900. I was just trying to get, you know, I mean, I probably could have got more. This load, honestly, was probably like last year, it was probably 12 to 1500. Uh, I tried for nine, they said no. I got eight, which my cut was 712. Uh, picked up at Potato Products of Idaho. They seem to have overnight parking. It's more like just sit off on this side, don't be in the way, overnight parking. Uh, it was going to Simplot in Caldwell. Big fucking pla place, by the way. It also has a big ass dirt lot, overnight parking. This is also where you, it's a staging lot, too. Big ass lot. That's like a thousand fucking seagulls last time I was there. Broker was TQL, and it was 223 a mile. Uh, that load was also negative 10, it ran as continuous. Uh, it was heavy, 40,000 pounds. Uh, so I picked it up, like, my appointment was like 1,400. I got there, like 900 checked in. They put me in a door, I was out within like two hours. Uh, I stopped the shower in the way, and I, I got the simple out, like 1,800. Checked in, I got, they called me like two hours early. Uh, because my appointment was like 3.30 in the morning. But it took five hours. They catch me twice. I was in there from like one to like five, five thirty. I don't know. I'm not sure how many times they touched me. I just know twice because I slept through all about three forklifts going in and out of my trailer. So I slept pretty hard, but I was tired. And then I finished the week off. I was hoping for a uh, customer load. Did not happen. So I had to book my own load. Is twice in a week, twice in a row now. The customer load has fallen off early in the week and been pushed this. this Path, uh, back half of the week. It's getting a little annoying because it, it, it does pay. Now this load was not compared to last week as bad. This load was only $200 short uh, compared to what my normal load would have been out of the customer load. Picked up a Nampa at a place called Dickinson's Food Storage or whatever. Uh, what time? I think my appointment was 1300 I got there... I don't remember what time I got there. Eight? And I left around my appointment time. Uh, the quote to place, you and everybody else decided to check in earlier today, so it was just bad timing, bad luck. It's just, if I was there like 6 a.m., I'd be in and out, no problem, which I was empty at 6 a.m., had the load, I just didn't know anything about the place, and I was, eat, I ate, was waking up too, so, whatever. Uh, a load peaked 3,800, so my cut was 3,382, deadhead was 16 miles, load is 1693, uh, for a total of $1709, $1.97. I still made good gross this week, but not as good rate per mile. Like, uh, uh, it's probably, honestly, it's probably around the $1.90 what I did this week. Because uh, it's 223 197 at 157 so, yeah, about $1.80, $1.90, something like that. But it, it went to Americold and uh, Darien. Also, overnight parking. There in Wisconsin, no miracle. Really good, by the way. Uh, negative 10. Supposed to be continuous, but uh, I just put a negative 13 and put sort of stop. So I kept it around negative 10. And then while I was there, because uh, I slept there, I got there the day before, I slept there, put it on continuous that night, you know, at negative 10. It was 40,000 pounds, so it was heavy. Uh, I'm ready for November to be here though. I want my uh, normal rates that I've been running up in the Midwest back. Although, I don't know even know what normal is. Eh. Now, it hasn't been a good couple weeks, like in October. I mean, rates, I knew rates were gonna drop. I wasn't expecting them to drop that bad. Cause I mean, I've, I've seen rate drops of four to 600 bucks in the upper Midwest, especially Wisconsin, which I've had two brokers tell me flat out they have no idea why they're dropping so hard. I guess they don't normally drop that hard or that far. So it's interesting. I'm hoping November, December, because I'll be up in the snow. That's what my plan is. Will be better. Uh, but fuck. Still making money, right? Still making money. Truck's, truck's covered. I'm covered. I got bill My bills are paid. Girlfriend's now home working, so that's gonna help out, right? Because uh, she's also in college. She she was in college while she was in the, in the truck, but uh, 
so she had her CD, or CDL, she had her CNA license, you know, uh, sometime next summer, and then uh, she'll work, uh, probably like a nursing home once she gets her uh, nursing license, and then a couple of years, pretty much, uh, her, the income, the household income will double, so we're getting there. I am so glad though that I, I kind of ran with JCT for two years to at least learn to run a truck because uh, I cannot imagine learning how to run a truck and book loads at the same time with, with, the, with these rates. Let's see, what is this front load I'm on? Another heavy bastard. I forgot to write that down. Let me write down the, 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 uh, the weights and the temps. And also winner's pretty much here. Uh, By the time you guys see this video, this region, the meaning of cities themselves, will actually probably see the snow. I think this video will come out about a week after that. So we're almost there. And then also we're almost in November, almost. It needs to hurry up. Uh, I'm just hoping just have a decent uh, increase. Cause fuck, these, the fuel jump since July taking about an extra grand to 1500 out of my pocket actually it's about a grand to two grand a month out of my pocket which i would love to have that back too but it's part it's part of the fucking you know the job out here you can't always have things go your way uh but i am currently here doing a miracle delivery and clearfield they also have our parking so i will be here and then i'm hoping tomorrow this for this is for next week so i'm hoping to go a day, a day hop up but that's all you guys stay safe out there catch you next time bye